Hello grade 10, welcome. In this video, let's talk about the electromagnetic spectrum and in here, we will compare the relative wavelength of the different forms of electromagnetic wave. Tara! At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Describe the relationship of wave speed, wavelength, and frequency using wave equation. 2. Describe the electromagnetic spectrum and number 3. Compare the relative wavelengths, frequencies, and energies of the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Electromagnetic waves, like all types of waves, are described by their physical wave features, amplitude, wavelength, and frequency. These are the characteristics that can vary and thereby produce many different kinds of electromagnetic waves. If you can recall, the wavelength of an EM wave is the length between two crests of the electric or magnetic field strength. Crest refers to the highest point of a wave, while thra is the lowest point of a wave. The frequency of a wave refers to the number of cycles or vibrations per one unit of time. Since all EM waves have the same speed which is equal to the speed of light, this means that as the wavelength decreases, the frequency of the wave increases. Electromagnetic waves travel in a vacuum at a speed of 3 times 10 to the 8 meter per second and denoted as C, the speed of light. The speed is slightly slower in air, glass, and any other material. The wave speed, frequency, and wavelength are related by the following equation. C is equal to the product of wavelength and frequency, where C is the speed of light expressed in meters per second. The frequency, F, is expressed in hertz, and the wavelength, lambda, is expressed in meters. Because C is constant, an increase in wavelength means a decrease in frequency and vice versa. Using the wave equation, let's try to solve the following problems. Sample problem number 1. What is the frequency of radio waves with the wavelength of 20 meters? Now to solve this problem, we have to first identify the given in the problem. So given R, the speed of light, 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second, that is constant, the wavelength, 20 meters, and what is asked is the frequency of the wave. Since the formula or the wave equation is C equals the wavelength and the frequency, we have to derive first for a formula in order to solve for the value of the frequency. In deriving formulas, we can use the formula triangle. I know you are already familiar with this. In here, we place the variables of the wave equation inside the triangle with C in the top part and the lambda and frequency in the other corners. Let's say if we are looking for the value of C, we simply multiply the variables below it so this becomes C equals the wavelength and the frequency. So, if you can see, this is the wave equation. Now, if you are looking for the value of the wavelength, you will notice that the frequency is placed below in the triangle with C on top, which means it is division. We are going to divide C with F. You will also do the same if you are looking for the frequency. We divide C with wavelength. So this will be the formula that we are going to use in solving the problem. That simple. Now let's continue solving the problem. So we simply have to substitute the given in the derived equation. So we have 3 times 10 raised to 8 meter per second, the speed of light, which is constant, divided by 2 times 10 raised to 1 meter. So this is the 20 meters wavelength in scientific notation. So the answer would be, 1.5 times 10 raised to 7 hertz. So that is the answer. Now let's check your understanding. Try to answer sample problem number 2 and check your answer at the end of this video. Electromagnetic waves are arranged in order of wavelength and frequency in what is known as the electromagnetic spectrum. A continuum of electromagnetic waves arranged according to frequency and wavelength.
It is a gradual progression from the waves of lowest frequencies to waves of highest frequencies. According to increasing frequency, the EM spectrum includes radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. These waves do not have exact dividing region. The crest of a wave is where the most energy occurs. Therefore, if more crests of the wave impact an object, more energy is delivered to that object. This means that waves with higher frequencies deliver more energy per time than waves with lower frequencies, and waves with smaller wavelengths deliver more energy than waves with larger wavelengths. The different types of electromagnetic waves are defined by the amount of energy carried or possessed by the photons. Photons are bundles of wave energy. The energy of a photon is given by the equation E equals the product of H and F, where H is the Planck's constant and F is the frequency of the EM wave. The value of the Planck's constant is 6.63 times 10 raised to negative 34 joules per second. From among the EM waves, gamma rays carry photons of high energies, while radio waves own photons with the lowest energies. With regard to the wavelength properties, radio waves can be likened to the size of a football field while gamma rays are as small as the nuclei of an atom. Gamma rays, X-rays, and high ultraviolet are classified as ionizing radiation as their photons have enough energy to ionize atoms causing chemical reactions. Now let's discuss further the wavelengths and frequencies of the seven types of electromagnetic waves in the electromagnetic spectrum. Let's start with radio waves, which has the longest wavelength in the electromagnetic spectrum. They are produced by making electrons vibrate in an antenna. One wavelength is compared to a size of a football field. Radio waves have a very wide range of wavelengths. The whole region of radio waves is divided into smaller regions or wave bands. Each wave band is allocated by law to a specific radio service. The wavelengths and frequencies of the different wave bands and their uses are shown in the table. Microwaves have smaller wavelengths than radio waves and can penetrate the atmosphere of the Earth. Infrared lies beyond the red end of the visible light. It is emitted by all objects. The amount and wavelength of radiation depend on temperature. Next is the visible light. When light passes through a prism, it is separated into its constituent colors, the red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Red color has the longest wavelength from among these colors and violet has the shortest. The table shows the wavelengths of the different colors that constitute the white light. The ultraviolet radiation lies just beyond the violet end of the visible spectrum. Ultraviolet waves have shorter wavelengths than the visible light and carry more energy. X-rays come just after the ultraviolet rays. They are of shorter wavelength but carries higher energy than the UV radiation. Gamma rays lie at the other end of the electromagnetic spectrum. They are shortest in wavelength and highest in frequency. They carry the highest amount of energy, thus they are more dangerous. The table below shows the relative wavelength, frequency, and energy of each of the different types of electromagnetic waves. As you can see in the table, from radio wave down to gamma rays, the wavelength of each EM wave is decreasing, while the frequency is increasing. The energy also increases with increasing frequency, as you can see in the table. And that's all for this week. Thank you for watching.